Hey guys, today we're going to talk about a topic that is very interesting, especially to those who edit on their phones or on their tablets like me. Today we're going to talk about the best mobile photo editing app out there. The best. The best. The actual best. Now there are tens or even hundreds of different mobile photo editing apps out there. Pixel made of photos, Affinity Photo, Visco or VSEO just to name a few. And I've tried them all and each has its own perks or something that makes editing photos with them great. But over the course of two years, probably two years, I'm pretty sure it's two years, editing on my iPad with the Apple Pencil, my personal favorite and probably the best mobile photo editing app out there has to be Lightroom Mobile. Lightroom Mobile is used by a lot of people out there, many are professionals. But why? What makes Lightroom Mobile their and my go-to photo editing app? First, the easy user interface. One thing that I noticed during the time I was trying out other photo editing apps was that the interface in Lightroom Mobile is really intuitive, like way more intuitive than the others, like way more. It's kind of surprising. The import is nice and quick. You have options to choose the location to import from and all your photos or your imported photos are shown in the library grid and there are a lot of options to add albums or folders and find people with the search engine in Lightroom which I totally forgot the name of. Don't blame me. Furthermore, the actual editing interface is so well put together. There are built-in profiles to use, there's a histogram and the overall interface can be easily understood and interpreted and it can edit raw. Second, the variety of tools. Another thing I noticed while editing with other apps was that Lightroom has way more tools that I would actually use on a daily basis compared to other apps. Now. Obviously, Affinity Photo has a lot more tools compared to Lightroom Mobile, but that's not my point here. It's true, Affinity Photo has more tools, and by no means it's a bad photo editing app. It's a great one. But due to the number of tools it has, the interface becomes cluttered, like really cluttered. Lightroom, on the other hand, has found the perfect balance between the number of tools and the clutter they may cause, which is awesome. Uh, this increases my abilities to adjust, enhance, and even manipulate photos without compromising my productivity with the super cluttered interface. For example, I can do the basic adjustments with no problems, but I can also edit specific regions with masks, cloning or healing places with the cloning or healing tool and even adjust the symmetry of the photo if I'm shooting architectures. Yes, in Lightroom there's a tool for that which is that that is super super useful. Third, the synchronization. Unfortunately, I am not subscribed to a Creative Cloud plan, but I do know that with people who use the Creative Cloud Lightroom Mobile will work great for them. All your existing presets on your computer will be almost instantaneously synced to your mobile device. And after that, you can easily edit your photos with your presets just like how you would edit them on your computer, which is kind of amazing, right? Those devices are so small, like look at them, look at my iPad. So small, like I can take this anywhere. It's kind of amazing. All right, uh, that was three, wait, this is six, three reasons why I and many other people love to use Lightroom Mobile to edit our photos. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please hit the like and the subscribe button because right now I'm recording this in my room and there's no AC whatsoever before because obviously audio and there's no, uh, there's no fan. It, it's really hot and it's making me stress out and I cannot truly talk. So please just scroll down, hit the like button, scroll a bit more down and hit the subscribe button because I really need it.
Uh, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.